2021 was a great year for astronomy enthusiasts. We witnessed four supermoons, the century's longest partial lunar eclipse, an unexpected comet visible with naked eyes, and the triple conjunction of Mercury, Jupiter, and Saturn. And to top it all, the year ended with the James Webb Space Telescope launch. So what does 2022 have in store for us? As it turns out, a lot. Here are some of the most exciting things that you will see in the skies of 2022. But before we start, make sure you download one of the space apps given in the description. They will surely help you find the celestial objects according to your location. In April, you will get to see the alignment of five planets in the dawn sky. Starting from the horizon, they will be Jupiter, Neptune, Venus, Mars, and Saturn. You can spot all of them with naked eyes except Neptune. Venus will be the brightest of all the planets, followed by Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. Mars will make its closest approach to Earth by the end of the year, so you can expect its brightness to increase in the coming months. Near its opposition in December, Mars will shine brightly in the night sky with its characteristic red hue. Although the planet parade will begin by the end of March, the best day to see this alignment will be April 24th, when the moon joins the parade as shown in this illustration. So you'll have to be an early bird to see the planet parade. There will be three back-to-back -back supermoons that will decorate the skies of 2022. Supermoons are rare astronomical events that occur when the moon reaches its full phase around perigee, the closest point in an elliptical orbit around Earth. As a result, supermoon can appear 14% larger and 30% brighter than when it is at the farthest point, the apogee. However, the difference in size is barely noticeable with naked eyes. This year, we'll get to see three back-to-back -back supermoons on June 14th, July 13th, and August 12th. Do you remember the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn that took place on the day of the winter solstice in 2020? The two biggest planets of the solar system appeared to be just six arc minutes apart, appearing as a double star in the evening sky. A year and a half later, we'll get to see another close encounter of Jupiter, but this time with the brightest planet of the solar system, Venus. On May 1st, Jupiter and Venus will pass within just 14 arc minutes of each other in the dawn sky. Although this is double the separation compared to the Great Conjunction, this planetary conjunction is unique because Jupiter and Venus are two of the brightest planets in the solar system, as seen from the Earth. During the Great Conjunction, the two planets had an apparent magnitude of minus 1.82 and 0.64. The lower the number, the brighter the celestial object. In the upcoming Jupiter-Venus conjunction, the two will have an apparent magnitude of minus 1.96 and minus 4. Hence, Jupiter and Venus will produce an even more spectacular view in the dawn sky. They will be easily visible with the naked eyes. You can still see Saturn and Mars in the planet parade a little away from Jupiter and Venus. However, you will again have to be an early bird to see this rare celestial event. The two will rise in the east about 90 minutes before the Sun. Before the conjunction of Jupiter and Venus, the two fainter planets of the planet parade will pass close to each other. On April 4th, Saturn and Mars will be just 19 arc minutes apart in the constellation of Capricornus. This planetary conjunction won't be as spectacular as the Venus-Jupiter conjunction. Because the two planets won't be so bright, they'll have an apparent magnitude of 0.7 and 1. The pair will be close enough to fit within the field of view of a telescope, but will also be visible to the naked eye or through a pair of binoculars. Occultations are rare astronomical events that occur when one object is hidden by another object when it passes in front of it. In other words, when the object in the foreground blocks the view of the object in the background, it is called an occultation. The term is mainly used when the moon passes in front of an astronomical object. The moon's orbit is inclined slightly with respect to the ecliptic, 
meeting any stars with an ecliptic latitude of less than about plus minus 6.5 degrees, may be occulted by it. Since the planets also lie in the ecliptic, they are often occulted by the Moon. On May 26, the Moon will pass in front of Venus, temporarily hiding it from our view. This celestial event can be seen from parts of Asia and Africa as shown. Lunar occultations are only ever visible from a small fraction of the Earth's surface. Since the Moon is much closer to the Earth than other celestial objects, its exact position in the sky differs depending on your precise location on Earth due to its large parallax. As seen from two points on opposite sides of the Earth, the Moon's position varies by up to two degrees, or four times the diameter of the full Moon. Hence, if the Moon is aligned to pass in front of a particular object for an observer on one side of the Earth, it will appear up to two degrees away from that object on the other side of the Earth. For the rest of the world, the Moon will pass very close to Venus in the constellation of Pisces. On December 7th, the Moon will pass in front of the Red Planet. December 7th is also when Mars will be at opposition. That is, in a straight line with the Earth on the opposite side of the Sun. Hence, around this time, Mars will reach its peak brightness. The lunar occultation of Mars will be seen with naked eyes from parts of North America, Europe, and Africa. So far, we talked about the Moon occulting a single planet, but on July 21, the Moon will pass in front of two planets, Uranus and Mars. Although this occultation involves two planets, only one will be visible with naked eyes. The Moon will occult Mars and Uranus on the same day, but at different times. The Mars occultation will be seen from parts of Eastern Asia with naked eyes, and the Uranus occultation will be seen in parts of Brazil with a telescope alone. There will be four eclipses in 2022, two of which will be solar. The first eclipse will take place on April 30th. It will be a partial solar eclipse visible from parts of South America and Antarctica and will last about four hours. Since an eclipse never comes alone and is always followed or preceded by another eclipse, on May 16th, there will be a total lunar eclipse visible from Africa, the Americas, Europe, and French Polynesia. The third eclipse of 2022 will be a partial solar eclipse on October 25th, visible from Africa, Asia, Europe, Greenland, and Gersney. The eclipse will last four hours, and the Moon will cover about 80% of the solar disk at the time of the greatest eclipse. And finally, on November 8th, the last eclipse of the year will take place. A total lunar eclipse visible from Oceania, the Americas, Asia, and Northern Europe. On this day, the Moon will also occult Uranus, which means the Moon, the Earth, the Sun, and Uranus will almost align on the same day. You might have also heard that a red nova will appear in the sky this year. Many popular science channels claimed you would definitely see this stellar explosion. But unfortunately, it's false. This video explains the exciting story behind this prediction that grabbed the attention of astronomy enthusiasts around the world. Also, we release a monthly astronomical calendar, so make sure you subscribe to our channel not to miss any celestial event.